Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. John Megacycle here, another episode of Utopia, Creation of a Nation, coming at you. Uh, we're working on the 10,000 population challenge, um, which is going to be interesting because that's a ton of people. Um, obviously, I usually beat the game with like 2,000. 2,500, around here, like two, two, three, maybe 4,000 is what I'm accustomed to. We're going to have to double that and some change. So, I'm not really too sure what to expect. I don't know what we're going to get. I don't know what that's even going to look like. Um, but we'll give it a go anyway. Another 21 tanks, send them, and I want a, I want a freaking scouting report this time. I can't imagine being on the receiving end of that many tanks. Like, I'm thankful I'm not being sent that much garbage. Um, I would have loved to have seen this as a multiplayer game. All squares from a flex pod. I'll build you 12 squares away from a flux pod. Sell the tech. Sell all the ore. Sell all the fuel. Yep, we've got a lot of products to offer. Which is really good. It always makes sure that we walk away from the trade. The trade negotiations with money in our pockets. Which I'm very happy about. HDX Missile Launcher. <laughs> cool. I never use the Missile Launchers unless I absolutely have to. They're way too expensive for what they do. They're really cool, don't get me wrong. But they cost a lot of money just as a one-hit wonder. For every two missiles, you could buy a laser turret instead. <laughs> I mean, learn how to place your laser turrets and it's not that big of a deal. Kind of surprised they haven't received a combat report yet. Okay, I don't care. Like I said, I'm waiting for two or three more actual reports before we go through and read all that text. Now, I think the way this game was supposed to be played is you spend money in your spying grant every month, or whatever, and you start to learn more and more about the aliens, and when you get these reports, it's like... We've learned more about their society, or whatever, and you go through and you learn a little bit more, and it's supposed to build, like, the storyline suspense, right? Builds a little bit more, a little bit more drama. Um, with this, however, it doesn't really matter, because the way I'm playing it is, I'm doing all my spying grants at the end of the game. Like, we're, we're darn near end game-ish in normal terms with this, so there's not really a ton much to do about it. Like, there's no more suspense to really build. They're bad, their aliens are gonna punch me in the face if I don't do something about it. I'll make sure this guy gets popped. I almost wonder if they even have an attack when they're just moving back and forth like that. Do these still take 14, or do these take 28 days? Okay, 28 days. Now, I'm not saying this defensive line is impenetrable at all. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is having all the turrets nestled in like this is going to give me a very respectable line, though. Come on. Gosh, these turrets take forever. I'm so spoiled by 14 days. There we go. Come on, pop, pop. Get them out of there. There we go, thank you. I was like, does nobody want to shoot at anybody? Is everyone a pacifist all of a sudden? What the heck? Matter teleporter. Nothing, what's the matter you? Ha ah. <laughs> ha! Uh, the matter teleporter literally transports fuel automatically to your aircraft. Which is great, because I can't figure out how to do it normally anyhow you got to bring them back home and they have to refuel that way and then you have to wait two months for them to refuel and then they can go again Ugh. awful i'll wait till the fusion cruisers are ready and then that's it thank you uh, do i have full radar coverage oh i'm missing one here
Now what's going to be terrifying is how I'm going to deal with unemployment. Our current offensive is proving unsuccessful. Okay, that's fine. I didn't really try that hard. I threw 20 tanks at him. Big deal. Um, the unemployment is what I'm more afraid of in this in this realm. Because for 10,000 people, I need 10,000 jobs or darn near. Um, I'm assuming unemployment is a problem. But the game doesn't take care of that very well, nor does it tell you very well that you need more jobs. Uh, the way the game works is if you don't have enough workshops, your financial consultant just says, Hey, you could use more workshops to make more trade goods and turn a profit. Like, that's it. There's no real hint of unemployment, per se. Yep, I know. I know, I know, I know. I misclicked. Okay, I'll sell a little bit of fuel. That works for me. I'll sell a little bit of ore, sell the gems, and I guess that's all I'm going to get. Okay. Um, whenever this flux pod's complete, I'm going to build out another layer of turrets, and then I'm going to go back to the tank yard to see if we can slap down, I don't know, a dozen more. just told me it wasn't successful, now it's largely successful. <laughs> Whatever. I'm waiting for literally one more report that tells me about their sociology, and then I'll go ahead and read them all, but I'm gonna wait for, like, the, there's four or five, like, neutral reports about what they are and what they're about, and there's usually one or two reports about, I don't know, oh, well, there's more reports that when they're attacking, like, you paid money for this person to tell you they're attacking, even though you still hear the boing, 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 but I know they're attacking. Shut up. Hey, knock knock, who's there? Shut up. <laughs> Ate my input and then played it twice. There's another bunch more. What do we got? 17? Send them. Um, what is our tech level? 10, 10 is the highest tech level. Nope, wrong guy. Yep, thanks. 7. Okay, sounds right. I am running out of housing, holy crap. Good on food, good on air, good on power. Yep, I need housing like a madman. Um, we're literally consuming a house every single month. Which is about right. I'm going to need a ton of stuff when I put that to high. Okay, are there any resources around here I care about? Probably not really. There's fuel. But I've already got a fuel plot down below, so I'm not, I'm not at all worried about it. Okay, let's get on the residential initiative. And I'm going to be using these houses as walls. Oh uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a bit of work. Um, so I need ten thousand divided by fifty is two hundred. So I need two hundred houses to get to ten thousand people. Yeah, and of course I need enough colonists available to build. Uh, I'm tempted to turn the birth rate to high for a couple of months. Really try to push up those numbers. We'll see. Yeah, sell the gems. Yeah, sell the food. Or fuel, or whatever this is. I'm becoming straight glut. No, I don't need more men. Stop that, you. Right, that was oddly in tune with the music. Ooh, okay. No problems on the west side. Gosh, this has just been a trouble spot this entire game, hasn't it? Oh, 
Holy heck, are you serious? Buddy, are you serious with this? <laughs> Again, thanks for the attack warning, stupid. How much did that cost me? That literally cost me $4,000 for you to tell me I was getting attacked. Ah, oh, what a champion. Spy report in. Let me guess, my attack is doing terribly. Largely successful. Okay, cool. I'm not going through the motions of reading all this stuff. If you've seen my other Utopia episodes, you know what these things say. Also, if you played the game, you know what these things say, so... Not gonna bore you with all that nonsense. Okay, housing initiative still in progress. Okay. There's another 6,000. I don't. Oh, because of the attack, right? Um, sell the tech, sell the food, sell the ore, sell all the stuff. I could easily turn the taxes down to probably zero and we'd be okay. We'd be more than okay. I'm sitting on more than. I don't know. Getting close to half a mil. I can build there. You can't stop me. How about that? <laughs> Alright. I need 200 houses for this to work. Um, if we hit any sort of a build limit, like if it's like, you can only have so many structures... Um, we might verifiably have to start blowing up old hydroponics and stuff to... I didn't ask you to... Shut up. I've been studying... Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's start going through this. Uh, no, how do, how do we do this? I want to see... Report 1. The alien city discovered in the northeast of the colony, but not of the city will do so soon. It is difficult to determine anything about them from this distance. More details later. Oh, okay. Our spies have entered the city and should be able to provide some intelligence on the aliens very soon. We're still limited to scouting missions, but should be able to move incognito about the city very soon. The city is very dark and oppressive. Its towering buildings block out the light even in the middle of the day. The aliens scurry between buildings as if, as if afraid. Loitering on the streets seems to be taboo. This could be due to, some, to numerous guards who roam the city and arrest offenders on sight. Their system of justice is very swift and harsh. This is what we can tell you about the aliens. They're called the Vanas... I... Vanacancia? Vanacancia. They're humanoid, but corpse-like, with four horrifically mutated... Within their all-covering black cowls, we've witnessed some of them communicating without speech and suspect they're, they possess telepathy. Okay, well, I'm really glad I'm paying so much for these. Our spies have witnessed what seems to be the chief pastime of the Vanakansians. In a huge chamber at the top of the tallest building stands rows of consoles the aliens sit, to, sit in and plug themselves into. Uh, <clears throat> gaming. Um, okay, where's the next one? Attack warning. No crap. Our spies have been studying the military research of the alien race of the following to report. They possess powerful energy weapons capable of vaporizing personnel and small vehicles. These weapons are mounted on all of their attack craft. We witness a demonstration of their strength of the armor on the vehicles. It is far superior to anything we have. Our men are working hard to infiltrate their weapons labs and steal the secret. Okay. Mine shaft has collapsed. It's okay. Don't care. Uh, did I even trade this month? I've been so inundated with everything else. Okay, I did. Cool. I don't want to miss trade opportunities, especially if I turn my tax rate to zero. I'm going to rely holistically on trade. I'm going to want to make sure that's always dialed in. Not holistically, completely on trade. That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, let's see how many buildings I have. We're looking for... Uh, 
I think I missed it. Oh, it's housing. I was thinking of residential. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, it actually is not listed here. Interesting. Um, we could do some quick mental math, though. If we have 3,000 people, and our population density is 51%, that means we can have 5,500, 5,700. I need to double what I have right now. Um, of course, that doesn't count what's all being constructed. I'm going to build out just a little bit more. Uh, I guess I'm not going to do any of that. But yeah, I need to build out a bit more and then just let it all sit and then see where we're at. I'm going to murder these aliens. Okay. That's it. You flip my switch. Where are you? All up in my business. What the heck? I'm on with this. Okay, surely you can stop this thing. There's a lot of exploding noises, but everything seems to be mostly intact? Question mark? Oh, here we are. Oh, it's just one more. Okay. Uh, yeah, little odds and ends here and there. Nothing too terrible. Quality of life is still at a very high 75. Keep that spy grant up, baby. Sell the tech. Uh, I will sell fuel for one just because. Um, I'm producing so darn much of it anyway, I'm not even using it. Build down a little bit of the ore. Good. Suck, I just built that. I know it's wreckage, stupid. You swallowed my input. <laughs> nope. 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 Nope, wrong thing. Our current unsuccessful got it. <laughs> I don't need the whole report. Just, yes, it's bad. Confirmed. Okay. Very close to having all this built. What is our density now? So 3,000 again with the people. 42%, so now we can hold, what? 6,600, right around there? So I still need a ton more housing. Like a, a ton, a ton. Like a lick a ton more housing. <laughs> Alright. teleport big deal that was something that could have used a little more thinking the tank teleport you build a pad and you put the tank on it and then you put a marker somewhere and the tank teleports to that marker but it's one tank at a time if I want to move an entire army who gives I'm not gonna move one tank at a time you've got to be kidding if it was a mammoth tank maybe but it's not it's just a regular hover tank I'm not gonna no I'm not gonna do any of that Um, let's call an event. I got all these people building. I have to find... Thought I had... Horse complex. There we are. Right? I did it? Okay. Cool. There we go. So I can't build anything this month. Um, but people will be happier. So sell all the tech. Sell down a little bit of the weapons. Sell the food. We're looking pretty good. I'm not going to sell any ore. That's fine. Um, so I called an event. So 
effectively everyone gets one month off and they all go to the sports events and they Roman they Roman Empire it up. They have a great time with cheese and wine and whatever and they do whatever they're gonna do. Those crazy, crazy heathens. And then they hopefully come back a little happier. <laughs> um Cool. That was a fun audio bug, thanks. Um, so I'm just gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna try to build a thing and it says everyone's at the sports event. So I can't do a darn thing anyway in terms of construction. But they'll still finish all the construction they're doing. And they'll still build tanks and they'll still build aircraft. Like that doesn't really affect anything, just building stuff. How many are we looking at here? 22? Nah. I'll wait a bit longer. Okay, now let's see where we're at. I don't want to go way overboard. Okay, 33% density. Take the number we have and multiply it by 3. So we literally have room for 9,200? No, 9,600. Cool, there's not much more I'll have to do then. And that'll be all the housing I need to beat the game. Oh my gosh. So much housing. Bomb detector, awesome. The perfect anti-terrorist device. I can't wait to open up the overview map and see a huge block of residential. <laughs> ready? <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at all ready. Okay, so nothing, nothing up my sleeve. Dunk. <laughs> Holy crap. That is a lot of residential. So see the same color? This is uh, living quarters against this, and you can kind of really see the differences. So now we have all that housing. I have to provide jobs and food and air and all that stuff for all of that shenaniganry. So we're good on food. Critical on power again, of course. Of course. Well, I've lost a few power plants in between here and there, so that makes sense. Um, to save on time, I'm just going to use the map instead of moving my way over there. This is my power capital right here. So that's 200 megawatts right there. Come on, quit swallowing my inputs, man. There's another 200 megawatts. Okay, 600 megawatts just dropped it on the floor. A fourth, of course. Of course. Who's up for an eclipse? Nobody? Here we go. Eclipse time. Sell the fuel, sell the food, even if it's at price of two, I don't care. Tamp that down a little bit, tamp that down a little bit, sell the tech. You don't need a ton of storage. You really don't. You just got to make sure you're managing it well enough. Um, also, the keep number, you can fiddle around with that, with how much you're going to keep in storage and whatever, and that helps too. If you're producing way, way too much, instead of blowing up the facilities, you could just limit that. Okay, I'm going to need a ton of security for this, and a ton of laborers, and just gobs and gobs and gobs of, of jobs. Come on, then. Yeah, this is going to be... This, this project is going to be nothing short of monolithic, for sure. This is the biggest I've ever built up in this game. Bar none. Of course, I'm out of power. Um, am I offline, though? Nope, okay, not offline, cool. Sell the food, sell the fuel. 74%. 
I don't care about the gems. Just get them out of here. Uh, 74% quality of life. I'm loving it. Yeah, gotta wait until some of these finish up. Oh, oh, did we get our first finishers? There we go. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna need maybe another two rows of security after what I'm building. I'm really trying to plan for this as hard as I can. Because the last thing I need is to get to about 6,000, and it's like, why are there no security force? And it's like, oh my god. I gotta build a billion structures of that, and I gotta wait for that all to finish. Ugh. Okay, this is going to be seven more rows of security. Uh, then we're gonna move to workshops. <laughs> Monolithic is the way I would call this project, for sure. Uh, this is going to be the last month I'm going to be offline, because 600 megawatts are going to come online. Sell the food, sell the fuel, good. Plenty of storage space now, and I just made another 70,000. There we go. Nope. Nope. Nope, that messes up my cute lines. Nope, don't tell me it's wreckage, for the love of God. Take my input, thank you. Um, so security's done. Uh, workshops are gonna be the next daunting task. I can tell the game is a- Just take the scientists, I don't care. I'm going to turn my growth, uh, my population birth rate to high. It's going to take me four months to fill all this housing. That or the game is going to crash. Uh, we've already proven a couple of times this game does not like being played in a manner in which it's not accustomed to. Uh, my solar challenge is a really good example of that. Uh, my solar panels were just not producing energy at all anymore because eclipses were happening so regularly and then even when they weren't happening, it just no no energy, nothing. I did that 100% solar solar only, and I still got janked. Sell the tech. Oh, we got tons of food to sell. I'm not selling my ore for one. Sorry, not sorry. My gosh, I'm so rich. I'm very confident that when we destroy the aliens, we're just going to get the windscreen, and that's kind of going to be all she wrote. Is this five rows of... Yep, there we go. Now we're starting to pop. Yep, this is borderline monolithic. I've built, I've built large projects like this before, don't get me wrong. I'm not a, I'm not a shy boy of... How to build big projects, but I mean, 10,000 people. Again, that's way more than twice of what I'm used to. Okay, this will be the last row of workshops. And then I kind of want to see how many we have and see what our workforce potential can be because that's going to be intimidating. <laughs> I'm not going to bankrupt, or well, well, how, well, wait, what was the idea in my head? I'm not going to win via military force, I'm just going to bankrupt my opponent. By buying their colony out from underneath them? Is that something I can do? 42 tanks. The answer to everything. I love it. 20. 30. 42. Send that shiz. Awesome sauce. Yeah. Looking good. Looking real good. Okay, sell all the tech. All the food goes bye bye All the fuel goes bye bye Sell down a little bit of ore. Sell the gems because they don't care. Man, made another 40,000 monies. Amazing. Just blocks. Just blocks and blocks of structures. This is intimidating, I'll tell you that. Let's take a look at the map. I just want to see it. <laughs> just... Blam. Where do you live? Uh... Residential town? Me too, what are the odds? <laughs> uh, very good, I'm sure. Thank you, I was gonna say, how the heck did that tank make it through? 
Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break here. Thanks for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. Hope to catch you for another episode of Utopia. Catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.